Fort Boyard, the ultimate test of skill, strength and courage. Marooned in the middle of the Atlantic, our six teams must take on the fearsome challenges of the fort in a desperate battle to win keys. These keys unlock the fort's treasure chamber, where the teams must grab as many gold coins as they can. The two teams who collect the most gold throughout the series will face off in the grand final to become the ultimate conquerors of the fort. Who has the guts, the stamina, the sheer willpower to emerge victorious? Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? Welcome to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. Two intrepid teams are ready to take on the full force of the fort as well as each other in a series of intense and nail-biting challenges. For each challenge they successfully complete, they'll earn themselves a key. They need to win five keys to unlock the treasure chamber and earn the maximum amount of time to grab the fort's gold. Whoever gets the gold gets the glory. So it's time to meet the teams. <laughs> Control That's authority there. right there. Wow. Teams, are you ready? Yes! yes! So, Beth, your team captain for the Falcons, anything you want to say to the Dragons? Mm, not really. I think they understand how it's going to go today. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. I don't really know where to go from there. Right. <laughs> Megan, team captain for the Dragons, how are you going to reply to that? Well, when we're done with you, you'll be charred. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm liking this. I hope this fighting talk <laughs> lives up to the challenges, all right? Well, let's find out what your first challenge is. OK, teams, this is the first challenge. Jack, you're representing the Falcons. Ash, you're representing the Dragons. This is what you have to do. You need to make your way across the horizontal winding ladder. You need to unlock the code in two parts and shout it out to your teammates who are going to unlock the box with the key. And the first team to grab the key out of the box wins this challenge. How's your upper brother strength, boys? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> not too convincing. That's not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear, yeah, we got this. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, let's okay. go. Okay, your challenge starts now. Two seven. One, two, dot, dot. One, two, dot, dot. Two seven, dot, dot. One minute. Speed. A race to the finish. Tired. My shoulders are really hurting from that. I bet they are. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at Ash and Jack in action. Looking at the monkey ladder, I knew that it was going to be a tough one because Jack was much lighter than me, but at the same time, I was stronger. It was really hard. I was just gritting my teeth. I had to fight through the pain. Uh, and then by the time we reached to the last one, it was neck and neck. Towards the end, I, I weren't sure uh, who was going to win because we both got a code pretty similar and it's down to our other teammates whether we was going to get the key first. Unlucky Dragons, don't be disheartened, there's still plenty more keys to get. But let's take a look at the score so far. The Falcons have one key and the Dragons have no keys. Awesome work there, Falcons. You ready for your solo challenge? Yes, yes. definitely. Great, follow me! Go. Oh, See you in a bit. Here we are at your solo challenge. You've got your first key, and this is a chance for Courtney to get a second one. Inside this cell, Courtney is strapped into a gyroscope. In front of her is a special keypad. As each of the buttons light up, she must press them until they all remain lit. Only then is the code revealed on a monitor in front of her, and she must shout it out to the rest of her team so they can open the box and grab the key. I hope she's got a strong stomach, because this challenge is going to leave her in a bit of a spin. OK, Courtney, your time starts now. Here we go, Courtney. Hold on to your lunch. <laughs> I see Courtney here, <laughs> Charlotte. Oh, oh, my God, this is so funny. Right, don't worry, you can do this. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow.
I think she's having fun. That's it, keep going. <laughs> well, she's laughing. <laughs> she sounds like she's enjoying herself in there. <laughs> <laughs> Time is running out. You need to tell her to press down the buttons that are flashing. How are we doing? Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Come on, Courtney. I don't have enough fingers. You're really close. Oh. Press hard. You need to light them all. Time is really like running out, guys. Two, two, two reds. Two reds. Two red ones. We've got them all apart from two red. Come on, keep going. Two red ones. Two red ones. Okay, when those lights flash, you need to press them. When it flashes, you've got them right, Courtney. You've got them right. She really needs to hurry up. Keep going, come on. Time is really running out. Oh, the key's gone! Courtney, oh, good effort! So Guys, she didn't get the key, but it did look like she had fun in there. Yeah, that's <laughs> what matters. <laughs> it was a good effort. Yeah. Now, I know she probably won't want to watch it back again, but I think we should have a little look. It was very, very funny to watch that challenge. I mean, you could see how much she was laughing, and it was, just, it was just comical watching her go spinning everywhere. It was quite difficult to concentrate because there was a lot going through my mind. I didn't want to be sick or anything, so I was really trying to, to like, stay calm and everything, but I just couldn't stop laughing. After that rallying effort there from Courtney, let's have a look at how it affects the school board. It's still one key to the Falcons and no key to the Dragons. Well done, guys! Whilst we get Courtney out, let's join Andy, who's with the Dragons, for their solo challenge. OK, Sophie, hello. Hi. This is uh, rather interesting. It's a bit, isn't it? Have you ever done anything like this before? Um, no. OK. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Right, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to cycle upside down across the fort, releasing the flags. Now, the code is split into three parts. You need to shout out the code to your teammates, who are going to open the box with a key in it, hopefully. Okay. How are you feeling? Uh, a little bit nervous, but it'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to release you, right? Okay. Just stay in position because your time starts now. Oh, Off you go. <laughs> Sophie is dangling upside down 50 feet above the fourth floor. This takes a lot of courage, but she's doing very well so far. Push Push Okay, reach that, reach that. Right, right, That's the first flag underneath her. She needs to release it to reveal the first number of the code. Now she's over the second flag. There are two numbers on the last one. Make sure. Keep going. Make sure you get them. And what an effort. Now she's above the last flag. Oh, she can't go, she can't go backwards. She can't go backwards. Did she do this? Yes! Okay, the code is split into two parts. Someone on both sides. You got it? Open it. It was amazing to win that challenge. It was the first key for the team, so I was quite proud of myself and it just felt really good. That blood rushing to your head must have been intense. How she did it, I do not know. But when she went slightly past the flag, we were like, oh, no, she's, she's not going to get it. But then just by the tips of her fingers, she grabbed it, got, 
grabbed it, pulled it towards her, und undid the loop. The numbers fell. We, we were shouting and screaming, and we just got the key in time. It was so good. All right, dragons, you got the key. Woo! <laughs> Let's look at the score so far. The dragons have one, and the falcons have one. Yeah. Uh, even Stephen's well done. Yeah. There is so much action happening here, but join us after the break for more. See you then. Welcome back to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. The Dragons are battling it out against the Falcons to win as many keys from the fort as they can. It's one key apiece, but there's plenty more keys to be won, and this next challenge is for both of our teams. <laughs> Sam and Courtney are ready and waiting. They must find the correct two keys above their head to open the box connected to the floor to find the key to win the challenge. Just a couple of catches. The room is actually getting smaller and there's a couple of little surprises in there. So, Falcons, you're looking for the white keys and Dragons, you're looking for the black keys. Take your place at the door, guys. Come on, Sam. Good luck. On. Good luck. You can do this. Good luck. In you go. Come on, Sam. Come on, oh, Sam. Sam. Oh, in you go! Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Okay. So if I've seen the two giant snakes next to it. Trust me, they saw them. <laughs> Sam's got one of the black keys. Will it work in either lock? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Courtney's got a white key. <laughs> She's trying both locks. And it looks like... It's one of them. Courtney's halfway there already. The ceiling's getting lower and lower, and they need to get a move on or they'll be on their hands and knees with the snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Sam's trying another key. That key didn't work either. Only two of the black keys will work. The rest are dummies. Courtney's got another key. Does it fit? Sam's trying another key. Looking good. The ceiling's caving in. The ceiling's caving in. Courtney needs to find the other key for that box. Sam's got another key, and it looks like he's undone one of the locks, but the other key isn't working. Courtney's got another key too, and she's done it! She's opened the box and grabbed the key in the nick of time! I saw this one on the phone, I was okay. And there's this yellow one, and that's just an unusual what, 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 colour. What, what, <laughs> what did you see? I don't know what you're Massive talking about. Snakes. They're not even little ones alike. <laughs> 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 I tell you what, we're just gonna have a little look at you in action. The pressure of the snakes made me do it quicker because I just wanted to get out of the room. After I had all four keys and I realised I had the right one the first time, I was gutted because as I put it in and I started twisting it, she opened hers and grabbed the key. I was I was kicking myself for the rest of the day. Congratulations, guys! That was an incredible effort from you, Sam, as well there. Well done. But let's see how that affects the scoreboard. It's two keys to the Falcons and one key to the Dragons! Shaking, Courtney. Oh, we've got to do another challenge. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, guys. Right follow me. Come on, up we go. Falcons, Falcons, Falcons. Woo. You've got two keys, Falcons. You're ready to try for a third key? Definitely. Good yeah. stuff, Jake. We well, are ready for this challenge. Now, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling uh, like I could do with a cup of coffee. So, Jake, I'd like you to make me one, if that's okay. That's to make me one, what you've got to do is fill the coffee machine with beans. Once the coffee machine is activated, the green light will come on. You must hold it and then the key will be released and you've won the challenge for your team. Sounds pretty simple, right? Sure thing. All right. But you might be wondering why you're wearing a helmet and these elbow guards. Well, that's because the floor's actually going to be moving, so you might be spending a little bit of time on your bottom. Okay. 
Now, I really want this coffee, and you really want this key. So, so you ready for the try challenge? Make us all happy. Yep, <laughs> try and make us all happy. We'll do. Okay, good luck. You are up against the clock. If you'd like to take yep. your position at the door, you've got your coffee scoop. Make sure you use it this yeah. way up. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, your challenge starts now. That's it. Nice Straight over. Oh, geez, wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Oh, not a bad oh, start. Just keep doing that, just keep doing that. Try and go, go round, but don't go straight across it. You might trip. Oh, it's pretty fast. That's it. Good. Doing well. Go around and around. That's it. Let it take you round, Jake. Let it take you round. It's going a bit, a bit fast for that guy, so I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. in that yeah. grinder. You're doing really well, Jake, and you've got plenty of time. Oh. You've got plenty of time. You made it halfway. That's Good. it, Jake. Well yeah. done. That's well it. Done. Make sure you get them all in. That's it. Good. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Doing time amazingly time. well, guys. That's it, Jake. You're doing really, really well. You're almost there. That's it, you're almost there. Just Good. a few more scoops and I think you could be there. That's it, Jake. You're doing really well. Good. Just keep going. Just jumping onto that spinning wheel is pretty tricky, you know. Go on, Jake. Keep cheering him on, on, guys. Go on, Jake. That's it. How are you doing for time? That's it. Have you got enough breath? Yeah. I think it's easier making an espresso, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Let's take a look at you in action. Once I'd done about five scoops of the coffee, the floor had really picked up its pace, and I was probably going for a full-on full, full -on sprint, and I was just getting absolutely knackered. It was ridiculous. I hate the taste of coffee. I hate the smell of coffee. I actually just don't like anything about coffee, so that was probably the worst challenge I could have ever been picked for. Let's see how that affects the scoreboard. It's three keys to the Falcons and one key to the Dragons. Well done, guys! <laughs> OK, Jake, you can take a little rest. Let's see what Andy's up to with the Dragons for their solo challenge. OK, Dragons. I've just heard that the other guys have now got three keys. You have one. But this is Fort Boyard. You can gain another one in here. So who's stepping up for this challenge? Um, Ash, Sophie and me. OK, brilliant. This is what you have to do. In there, the numbers one to nine are on the ceiling. What you need to do is climb up the poles and turn on the lights corresponding to the number. The lights will either be green or red. The object of the game is to turn on three green lights in a row. You got that? Yep. How are you feeling about this? We can do this. Yeah? Easy. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Not feeling the pressure of grabbing another key? No. Nah. OK, get ready. Confident we can do this. Because your time starts now. Go on, dragons. Go on, dragons. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. What about, what, what about Megan? Don't forget, you've got Go on, to hold the numbers down for three seconds to release the key. Rip. Please, two, three, rip. OK. Give Megan a hand off, Ash. Push it, come on. Be more, be more, be more. Come on. Did she do it? Go on, oh, go on Megan. You're right there. Okay. Okay, that's a green, that's a green, that's a green. That's a green. Megan, get down, conserve your energy, and then go back up. That's yeah, a green, right. that's a green. Megan, Hopefully. start going up. Megan, start going up. Okay. Ash, lift her up, lift her up, lift her up. We can do this. Okay, Come on, you've got loads of time, Megan. Okay. You've got plenty of time. Okay. Hold yourself up. Here we go. Keep going, Megan. Come Go on, Megan, hold find the position. Up. Tell her to find the position and then hold herself there. Right. Okay. Find the position, then when you've got that okay. position, hold yourself. Hold that's cool. Right, go. <laughs> Wait, hold hard. Lads. Oh, Come on, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, Megan. Right, Megan, hold it. Poor Ash is holding the whole team together Ash, at this Ash, point. Ash, quickly. 
Ash, Ash, come on. Okay, I'm just getting Megan. Megan, Megan, you Megan. need to pull oh. yourself up. Use your arms. Use your hands. Come on. In, 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 oh. in your legs. Okay, come on. And then okay. you'll be up there. It's fine. Come on. Okay, hold your hands, yeah? You got it. Push your legs together, like. Yeah, you. grip on it, Megan. Give you. This is the big dad. Oh, oh, poor oh, Ash. Fuck. Poor Ash. Hurry up. Ash. Look at the time. You're losing time. Ash, come on. Find the position. Okay. Hold it. One, Ash. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, God, that was hell. Light it! Light it! Hurry up! Quickly! Quickly! Look at the time, look at the time! Come on! Oh my god! Guys, you're gonna have to make your way out! You're out of time! You're running out of time! Make your way out! You're running out of time! So close! Ash, come here, mate, come here! There was a point there. I'm dead there. Where you were holding the entire team together. What was going on, man? Oh! I can't even speak! It hurts so much. I don't really have any upper body strength, so holding myself up there while on one hand was just so difficult. When they went to the, the, the poles, I was trying to help them up. But while I was helping, up, helping Meg up, I was helping Sophie up. And when I was helping Sophie up, I was helping Meg up. And I think I did that about three times. Looking back on it, the funniest thing would definitely have to be when Ash is trying to hold me and Sophie up, and we're both frantically screaming for him to help us. I think that was just hilarious. We didn't get the key, unfortunately, but we knew there were plenty more challenges, so we weren't disheartened. Don't worry, <laughs> let's take a look at the scores so far. The Falcons have three, and the Dragons have one. <laughs> yes, yeah. unlucky. unlucky. <laughs> That is it for today's show, but join us next time for the finale to this explosive battle between the Dragons and the Falcons, when Jake and Megan go head-to-head -head in a game of skill and balance. <laughs> Sam tests his strength against the pyramid. <laughs> and Beth plunges into the icy depths of the Fort's dungeon, only on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge.